Welcome back to programming in python.com. I am back with another video. Here in this video, I am going to print the pattern of letter i. In the previous videos, I have told you how to print the patterns up to letter h. I will link the playlist in the description if you want. And also in the i button somewhere in the right corner of this video. Make sure you click that for all the previous videos on the patterns up to letter h. And it's time for letter i. And also guys, it's just the explanation, whiteboard explanation. And also go into my PyCharm IDE, code the program, execute it, see the output. So here is the explanation of this pattern. So let's get started. So guys, this is the pattern I'm going to print. This is the type. This is the type of I I'm going to print now. As usual, like in all other previous programs, here I'll print stars and spaces based on some conditions. Here there are three locations where I need to print stars. That is the first row. This is called row. This is the first row last row and middle column just like inverse of h in the h we will print call we will print a star so first column last column and middle row here i will print stars for first row last row and middle column just the opposite of h so let's see how we can print that i let's assume the size is 5 as this is a 5 by 5 square in the program, in the Python program where I'm going to code in my IDE, I will take the size from the user. So for the expression purpose, I'm taking the static size here, 5. So uh, size is 5. I need to write for loop, one for one loop for rows and one row for columns. For i in range s, i is for rows. For j in range s j is for columns so these are called columns and these are called rows so for j i in range s j in range s so rows and columns so here this is the first row so if i equal to equal to 0 actually the size starts from zero, range starts from 0 so 0 means first row so if i equal to equal to 0 or I also print the last row or i equal to equal to s minus 1. I'll just remove this. These are disturbing us. I'll just remove this arrow marks. And i equal to equal to s minus 1. So this is the condition i equal to equal to 0 and i equal to equal to s minus 1. So in these two cases, I'll print stars. And also, there is a case for printing the middle column. So for that, I write, I'll combine these two, and I write an R here for columns for J equal to equal to n by two. I mean, not n here. It's s s by two plus one. So s by two here s is five. Generally, five by two. We are taking integer. We are taking an integer here. So five by two will become two. 2 plus 1 is 3. So from the third column onwards, it starts printing. So j equal to equal to s by 2 plus 1. I also uh, group this. And now here I will print so I'll print star. And here in else condition. I'll print space. Uh, you might, uh, if you are if you are following all the previous uh, videos, you might uh, understand these conditions: printing star and n. By default, n for print statement goes to the next line. Here, I don't. Here, in this uh, scenario, we don't want to go to the next line after printing a star. Here, after printing a star, it should go to the next. It should go. It should. It shouldn't go to the next line. It should print something beside that. So I'll print and as space or and as empty. So that's why I use this and in both the conditions. If you are following all the previous videos, you understand that. And finally, after for loop, I need to print an empty print for going to the next line. After printing all the stars, it should go to the next line. It should print the one here and it should go to the next line. For that, I'll give an empty print. So that's the explanation. Now I'll now I'll go to my computer, code this program, execute it, see the output. I'm in my ID, guys. 
as usual i'll just ask the size for the user size of the pattern from the user input enter a size and i'll also cast this to integer so i'll write int now i'll also check the size is uh, greater than 8 if size be less than 8 i'll prompt the user to enter a size of minimum 8 or else I will just print the pattern and I will pass this size as a parameter so I always do this because if uh, because if I give the number a smaller number we may not see the pattern clearly so I always uh, check these conditions before printing that's not that's not really important uh, just uh, for the output sake so I will copy this pattern and I will define this now and I'll pass the parameter as n, the size which is passed, the size which is passed here will be considered as n here, the parameter. So now as I said, now as I just said in the whiteboard, uh, how to print this pattern i, we will have uh, two, we will have to print starts in two rows, first row and last row and middle column. This, uh, this is just inverse of h. In H, you will print first row, first column and last column and middle row. Here, just reverse first row, last row and middle column. So, for that, I need to take two for loops for rows in range N for columns in range N. So, I took a uh, Two for loops, one for rows and one for columns. So I need to write conditions for first row and last row. So if rows equal to equal to zero, as this range starts from zero, like if I give a size of eight, uh, the range uh, is the range will be as follows: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I so if I need to print the first row, I need to give the index as zero. If row equal equal 0 or row equal to equal to n minus 1, so that will print the first row and last row. Or now I'll print the middle column or columns. Here it's rows, not row, or columns equal to equal to n by by 2. This is floor division. So normal division, if we do a normal division, uh, uh, that doesn't work properly because we are if I give an odd number of 9 or something like that if i do 9 by 2 it's 4.5 but that 4.5 will not be understand that 4.5 will not be understand because we have given integer it won't take integer values so if i divide floor division like n by by 2 it will understand i'll explain you this with an example after i will explain this i will explain you this with an example in a while first let me print this i will print stars and n i also said about this n uh, by default print takes n as new line so i don't want to go to new line so i'll just print n as its space because after printing this star i need a space instead of going to the next line for that reason i print n as space i also explain this in the whiteboard else i'll print spaces here also I'll do n as space and finally I'll print after the first for loop I need to print empty print so that after the first iteration after printing all this it shall have to go to the next line and after printing all this it, have, it, has, to, it has to go to the next line so that I'm printing this empty print so that's it for the program let me run this and see size 8 you can see i it also give an odd number of 9 now you can see 9 so if i remove this n uh, floor division do normal normal division and if i run this again you can see with even numbers it's fine but for odd numbers like 9 you see that middle column is missing because as i said this is an integer and n by 2 is a float value 
so if i do this floor division we will get the result so finally this is uh, so this is the output this is the output guys so so that's it for this video hope you like the video if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel programminginpython.com give it a like comment and also share it with the friends who might find this python tutorial helpful i will be continuing this pattern series up to letter z so stay tuned for more videos on programmingandpython.com see you in the next video bye bye